Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today's video is on this rose gold half cut crease eyeshadow. If you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so starting with brows, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Brow Pencil. I start by tracing the line below and above my natural brow. And then I fill it in using short strokes to imitate real brow hairs. Next I'm clearing them up using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade 4 and then with what's left on the brush I'm using that to soften the front of the brows. For foundation I'm mixing the NYX Total Control Drops in the shades Cappuccino and Caramel. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the orange shade from the Morphe 35O palette as my transition shade. And then straight on top of that, I'm taking a mixture of the plum shade and the dark brown shade from the Carly Bible palette. I wasn't able to catch it on camera, but after that, I added the darkest plum shade in the Morphe palette to my crease. And now I'm able to cut the crease using the same brush and concealer that I used to clean up my eyebrows. To fill in the cut crease, I'm using the rose gold shade from the Carly Bible palette. And right next to that, I'm going to be taking a pink shade from my Revolution palette. Using the same brush, I then blend the colours together. I'm now blending the plum shade from the Carly Bible palette into the pink and then I'm darkening up the outer corner using the plum shade from the Morphe palette. To line my eyes, I'm taking the Kiss Me Heroin brush tip eyeliner. Next, I'm adding some false lashes, however I can't remember the name at the moment but it will be in the description. And to finish up the top part of the eye makeup, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to blend my real and false lashes together. Now back to the face, I'm going to be taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel and using that to highlight. Next I'm cream contouring using the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade medium but only using the darker end. To blend that out I'm using a flat top brush with soft bristles. This brush enables me to be really accurate with where I place the product however I'm still able to move it around easily and the soft bristles mean that my skin isn't being dragged and I'm able to avoid harsh lines. Using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I'm going to bake the areas that are concealed and lightly set the rest of my face. To add some warmth and structure back into my face, I'm adding bronzer to the hollows and apples of my cheeks and around the perimeter of my face. And to contour my nose, I'm using the Sleek Contour Kit in the shade Medium. For highlight today, I'm using the shade Le Peach by Artist Couture and Jackie Einar. And I'm adding this to the high points of my face, including above my eyebrows, the sides of my chin and nostrils. To tie everything together, I'm adding some peachy blush to the apples of my cheeks. and then spraying my face with some Fix Plus. To finish up the eyes, I'm smoking out my lower lash line using the same colours I used in my crease. In my inner third, the rose gold shade, and in my tear duct, the frosty lilac highlight shade also from the Carly Bible palette. For lip liner, I'm using the shade Urban Cafe by NYX. I'm 
spinning in my lips with the shade Frick and Frack by Colourpop. I'm topping that up with a peachy shade from BH Cosmetics. And then finishing up my lips with Gloss Bomb by Fenty Beauty.